What's up guys? I'd love to do this video because if anybody's been riding with me from the start, you know that I've been looking, I look raw, I look rough. A couple days ago I had this shirt on, I was getting so many compliments uh, for it and I'm, I got it back on again and no, it hasn't been in the wash or the dry. Alright, and I've been told that I would, you know, look better, I mean they don't come out and say it, but I, told, I was told that I it would do me some service, some justice, if I, you know, do something about this, do something about this, well, when I do cut my hair, they say, yo, you clean up nice, when I used to have a long, long hair, and uh, wouldn't really comb it or whatever, you know, it would just lock up, free forming locks and stuff, but, um, and besides the fact that, you know, I kind of got immersed in the lifestyle of being a slob before and that's not that's, that's not to say that's what I'm doing now but it's just like one of one of the people who I really admired a lot was a complete slob and got to knock down beautiful women Charles Bukowski you know I thought it was pretty cool it made it, it kind of made me realize that uh you know it doesn't really take much effort to get what you want you know in the form of attraction you know what I'm saying women like that real thing that's why I don't edit anything I just go straight to it, and I just and I just talk the way I talk. If I make a fool out of myself, hey, so be it. It don't even matter to me. Um, and also, uh, a lot of uh, time in depression and things like that had me like not really caring. And uh, but anyway, let me hop into it because I just said it didn't matter to me. So my first point is, and I always ruin this because I don't put them in order from uh to yo, <laughs> you know. But so uh. So the first thing is that I just don't care. Like, I don't. You know, I I've, I really, for, you know, uh, that's another reason, too. I'm just very forgetful to put the clothes in the washing machine and dryer. And, yeah, I've gotten better at that. And, yes, by the way, I do take showers. Yes, I do. Um, I don't know. if I guess that's part of grooming. But, uh, so, uh, maybe I should have started it off like that. I don't want to, you know, give you guys the impression that I'm just dirty and everybody can smell me, although I had my days. Um, that I just don't care, you know what I'm saying. It, do, it doesn't matter to me. There are more important things, as I, I as I will speak on uh, uh, later on in this video. I'm, what can I say? I've gotten I've gotten attraction from women uh, at my at, at my worst. You know, being skinnier, being more dustier. Well, I don't get any dustier than kind of how I look right now. I'm I'm chilling. I'm at home. Quarantine. You know, I don't, let me look. I'm chilling. All right. So, and I never want to give people the impression of something that I'm not. And if I don't, you know, why stop? Why stop now? You know what I'm saying? It was working for me. It's working for me. But let me go on and, and speak on everything else to tie this together because I'm leaving a couple of holes is because I want to speak on the other things. And like I was just talking about, now now is not the time, which is one of my other reasons. Is um right now I'm on my grind. Right now, I don't care how bummy I look. I you know, I don't want to convince myself that I made it, that I arrived. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm not about to try to I don't know, make myself look I yeah, mean, I look, there's some great power to looking the part and attracting what you want, but there's also some great power to getting that shit out of the goddamn mud, you know what I'm saying? And I get comfortable very easily, so I want to stay, I want to stay uh, somewhat grimy, all right? And, uh, and, hey, look, there's nothing wrong with that, man, that's my way of coming up, all right? There's a re reason why I make sacrifices like, um, uh, no, no drinking, no smoking, and no, uh... No ejaculating. You know, there's a reason why I do things like that. All right, it's because it's serious business. Okay, and that's what that's what matters to me right now. It's not the time because I'm on my grind. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, perhaps I'll make time for that in in the future. I don't, you know, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind dressing up or anything like that. I don't mind trimming this. Up. I mean, in fact, I will do something about this actually because I just don't like it. So it's wild. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. It's, it's, you know, be getting my food sometimes, getting my nose should be you know, tickling and stuff. And I'm a thug, and thugs can't be all ticklish and stuff. That don't work. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's not the time. All right. Uh, so 
And the next thing is to stay low key. See, d- see, this is the thing. This is the thing that I want. Now, a lot of people will probably be able to tell I, I have money coming in depending on certain signs. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, on YouTube, if you see me with like uh, 200,000 subscribers or something like that, which I don't have at this point, uh, you you might know that I got a little something about me. But I like to stay low key. All right. Now, what a lot of you people following me may not know is that man. Uh, you know, I, lo- I love black people with all my heart, but because we've been deprived for so long, you know, a lot of us, man, we just don't, we don't know how to do well around others who got something going for them. So basically, you know, we, we be hating, man. Now, I'm not saying that I'm like this, but, you know, and the reason why I'm saying we is because I want to separate myself from the people, from my people, you know what I'm saying? So, but just people out there, they, they just be hating, man. They want to try to get in the way of what you got going, you know what I'm saying? I don't want that kind of attention on me, and I also don't want the type of attention on me where they're like, "Oh, you know, no, oh, damn, you know, he can, he got money and stuff like." So, like, oh yes, I it's no sort of secret that it, I do have a goal of being extremely wealthy, extremely affluent in in the in terms of uh, monetary gains. I want to be a millionaire. Of course, it's definitely doable. It's practical. It's it's simple. May not be easy, but simple, and um. And I envision myself like when I get there, you know, how how will I live that life? Very much low key, you know. You see a lot of these people who who got money. Well, let's just talk about you know, because black people, we have some black people out there that got money. But I want to talk about some of these, you know, these, you know, some of these white people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like in the rich parts of D.C., you know, you 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 pull up to that house. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, the house is expensive. But the cars are, you know, very uh, eco, you know, maybe eco-friendly, good on gas. It's cheap, A to Z. You know what I'm saying? Because they understand that it depreciates. So this is, I mean, I don't know this video is not really about that. It's about grooming. Why I don't, you know, try to doll myself up and things like that. You know, I don't need to show everybody that I got it. I know that I got it. You know what I'm saying? Get to know me and you know, you know what I got. That's, that's just pretty much how I like to go about things. That's the art of war, man. Just got to throw these people off. Everybody don't need to, you know, and you know, why, why, why? I don't need to, I don't need to buy the most expensive thing. You know, something. All right. And, you know, pedophilia tied with Walmart aside, you can make yourself look really good with some clothes from Walmart, bro. We've been brainwashed when we were children that you got to have name brands and stuff like that or it's a dud. Now, I'm not going to wear no Shaq Diesels on my feet. I'm not going to wear no Shaqs. Uh, and I guess that's still some programming of mine. Because, I mean, there's a lot of people who really understand that and got some money about them. They walk around wearing some goddamn sketches or whatever. Whatever. So long as there ain't no holes in them. It's a great mentality to have, but I don't I don't quite have that one. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, pretty much. I mean, that that's the idea for me. Or I might, go, I might actually go to the thrift store. I might go to the thrift store and look real nice. Because I mean, the fact of the matter is, okay, it's used clothes, but... You know, you wear something that you got that was new uh, a couple of times. You know, you buy something new and you wear it a couple of times, then it's used. That, that's the same mentality that I take. So if you get a you, you know, getting a used car is just like you having a new car that you used a, a few times. You know what I'm saying? You know, so I don't know. That's I, that's just a little trick that I play on myself. It's like you know, you can still be fresh uh, with some with some used clothes or whatever. But I probably wouldn't even you know, I probably wouldn't even take it that far. You know what I'm saying? I dress up when I need to dress up. But if they if the culture calls for me to dress up, you know, I, I you know, I'm not big on following what the culture tells me to do. But I, I but I'm good at playing along too. And I I like dressing up. It's it's cool. I like having a reason to dress up too. But also sometimes I like to not even have a reason to dress up too because I just like, you know, like mafia movies, Bulwark Empire and stuff like that. Look nice, look sharp. But you know, I I can appreciate that. And so I'm and I'm not opposed to grooming. I'm just letting you know why I'm not doing it right now. All right. So another thing is to save time. So people used to make fun of a uh, well, I don't know if people used to make fun of, but it's documented that Einstein, for example, didn't wear socks. And um, I mean, it don't take that long to wear socks, but people was like doing the math and saying, well, if it took you two two minutes to go get your socks and put them on or whatever, that's like I forgot how many. How many hours that is that you save over the course of a year? Uh, is that two, uh, two times 30, 30, 
an hour. You you save you save a lot of a lot of time. I don't know seven like seven hours or something like that by just not <laughs> by taking out that time to go get socks and put them on if it takes two minutes to do that. Uh, but you know, just little things like that. I just want to save time because when I get my hair cut, I you know I cut my own hair. And see, those one of those things like when you talk about delegation, actually, because I want to talk about this. When you talk about delegation, you pay other people to do it because your time is so valuable. You know what I'm saying? You pay people to cut your grass because your time is so valuable. But when it comes to cutting your hair, you know, all things being equal, like it's it's going to take the same. It's going to take the same amount of time, and also it's both both of us going to require you to not really do anything else. Now, if somebody's cutting your hair and you're on your phone and things like that, but I never do that. I'm never on my phone. I'm not, I would never be on my phone while somebody cutting my hair or whatever, even though it's like all you do is sh- shave it. <laughs> but, and because of that, okay, I say, okay, I save myself money. I save myself time to even go to the barber shop or wait in line. Wait in line too, yeah. Wait, you know, wait sometimes. Then I just cut in my goddamn self. Boom. Hello. Or just don't cut my hair at all. And just, you, you and ha, you know, and have this hat on to see what I'm fucking hiding. It's terrible. It really is. The way life treats you as you get older, man, it's very disrespectful, but okay. And the last thing, I guess I'm just not that insecure. Now, there, I get, maybe there's some things I'm insecure about, um... I I don't really know what that. I honestly don't even know what I'm insecure about. I'm not, not really insecure. I was, I guess at one point. That's because I was basing how I should feel about myself and what I think about myself off of society, full of unhappy, drugged up ass, dumbass motherfuckers. To you know, putting it lightly, <laughs> but I just. I'm just not insecure enough to care about what a woman thinks about me, what another man thinks about me. And, uh, you know, I'm not perfect in that regard. You know, I'm still growing, I'm still learning, but nah, man. Y'all can have that because I done spent so much time down and out by myself, miserable, lonely, and all that, to really care about what anybody got to say about me. You know what I'm saying? That's why I made this YouTube channel for for people like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, did I get a lot of subscribers? Uh, people who would probably closely monitor the things I say. Yeah, sure, whatever. But you know, this this video pretty much personifies who I am, and uh, at this given moment, and I'm just, just the type of guy like, all right, look, I respect your opinion, but I don't give a fuck. All right, go tell that shit to your son, your brother, your husband, your father. And I ain't none of them. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, look. I take showers. What more do you want from me? Alright? And I use toothpaste and deodorant sometimes. So, with that being said, hey. I'm real. I'm raw. I'm raggedy. <laughs>